So we're looking at whales here, and whaling, which is the hunting of whales. Some types of whale are close to extinction because uh, they're hunted for their meat, for oil, and we can turn them into types of cosmetics too. Of course, when whales are alive, we can also use them in tourism. But there are, there are issues with keeping whales in captivity. Um, we can keep them in captivity either for breeding programs to increase their numbers or for entertainment purposes. But unfortunately, when they're in captivity, the whales don't have any freedom. They're kept in very close, small spaces. Scientists are interested in studying whales. They're interested in how whales communicate in the wild, their migration patterns, and also how whales survive at extreme depths. With the last one of these, sometimes it may mean that they may need to kill the whale in order to investigate it. The International Whaling Commission was set up to try and get countries to agree not to hunt whales. The thing is that lots of people around the world still want to hunt them for their income, and therefore it is quite difficult to police and enforce these rules. Now with my increasing population, I don't want my resources to run out. So I want sustainable development, taking resources from the environment without them running out. And I don't want to harm the environment doing this. So you need to know about two examples of sustainable development. That's if I, uh, there's a woodland and I chop a tree down, what do I do? I plant a new one. Or with fish. I don't want to overfish the sea. If I fish just the right amount, then the fish population shouldn't be too badly affected. That's called fishing quotas. And for sustainable development, the idea is generally that you need agreement from lots of different parties on a local level, on a national level, or on an international level. Sustainable development.